Alright guys, today we are going to be shooting some uh, 177 caliber BBs through homemade ballistics gel. Run you through what we got. These are the Daisy Precision Max. Not too heavy, not too light, a nice little pellet, whatever. Crossman Destroyers, baby. These are fun, fun to shoot backwards too. Nice little protrusion. Okay, nice. Alright, y'all, hold on for this one. This is my favorite, I think. The Benjamin. Uh, what do they call this? The, no, it's not the Crow Magnum. Alright, it's just the hollow point. Come on, focus. Hollow point. This is heavy. This is like real good lead or something. These are real nice. Still expensive though. Okay, you see that some of those are blick pellets that are exploding, but we're going to shoot one of those. I think it's a destroyer with a BB in the back. And these, I believe, are called the Gamma Rocket 6. Come on, focus. Sorry, I burned my fingers yesterday. 6 uh, blades. I don't know what they call it. Penetrator something. I don't know. Some special alloy. Don't know. Gamma. Yep, gamma. Yeah, okay. So, let's get to. The, well, I guess to tell you about the gun, too. We will be shooting our stock and broken in. Well, over 600 rounds, probably a couple thousand rounds. Benjamin Trail, Nitro Piston. Here we go. Nitro Piston. Break action. Break action, break action. It's empty. I'm just shooting that today. Alright, let me get to the list. Alright, guys, first up is the heavy uh, Benjamin Hollow Point 177 caliber. Uh, I'm going to be shooting from about, I don't know, I'd say a foot, maybe two, foot and a half. Alright, let's see what happens. So on the Benjamin uh, Magnum hollow point, we got, looks like about, what do you say, it looks to me like we got very close to four inches of penetration and a bounce back about a centimeter. And there's a pretty good little cavity around it in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but let's move on to the next. That was the Benjamin hollow point. Next step is going to be the uh, expensive alloy uh, Gamo Penetrator Star Round. Let's see how that goes. So here we go, guys. Same distance. Looks about the same. Uh, and a little less, surprisingly. Okay, this one got... This one got about two and three quarters inches of penetration. Okay, doesn't look like it has any bounce back, and that's got a pretty nice little wound cavity. It's got a better wound cavity than the other one does. It tore straight through. It looks like it spun and ended up, but expended all its energy right there in the first, what would you say? Two and three quarters inches. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, this is going to be the Daisy Precision Max. Um, pointed, soft, cheap lid, but they work, okay? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and flip this block. Alright, let's see about the Daisy 177 Precision Max pointed. Oh. Same distance. Man, that thing left a nice. That thing left a nice wound cavity. It looks like it's spun. These are all staying real straight, too. Okay. 
so I'd say we got two and a half inches of penetration easy on that one yeah and you can see no bounce back but there's a nice permanent wound cavity cavity I'm sorry looks like it might have spun uh, like twisted right there a little or something and up at the beginning there's a big wound cavity off of that one can't say that wound cavity all right well, let me move this to camera a little bit and then we'll get on to the next guys all right all right guys since my specialty homemade round didn't work for any of the crossman destroyer loaded backwards that's right so we're gonna have the point facing us and the wide end facing out we're gonna hit this baby hard so get ready for that this is a often suggested round and I imagine it's gonna dump all of its energy real 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 quick Oh yeah, that baby went, <sighs> maybe not even an inch I would say, not even, I, if you could, you could call it an inch because there is some blowback, I mean the bullet, the pellet wants to pull back a little, look at that thing deformed in there, it's a flat disc. It just expended all its energy. I mean, I don't think that thing would fly accurately long distance. I don't even know if it flew accurately, accurately right now, short distance. But it expended all that energy and destroyed that pellet. So, I would say for uh, close range hunting of tiny game, you know, if you have mice running around, rats running around at 10 feet. That might be a very viable option because that would put something down quick, boy. Alright, now I'm going to have something special when I come back. Just a moment. Alright, guys. The special treat is that I've got out my 22 caliber rifle since we still have some space left. I'm scared it's going to blow right through this block, but we're going to use a Daisy Precision Max flat-nosed 22 caliber pellet. Um, and also these that everybody just left in 22 nonetheless gamo penetrators with a little steel core in there they tend to do pretty well um, I don't know if I've seen one ballistic gel or not on YouTube but we'll see a 22 caliber one now alright I'm going to be using my Beeman RS2 Cal uh, model rifle S22 caliber and 177. It's got two separate barrels. It's an old Walmart BB gun I picked up a couple years ago, but it does the job more than well enough. All right, it'll probably blow it square through this baby. Um, and this block is five inches long. So let's see what happens when I come back, guys. We're actually gonna revisit the gamo because penetrator because I don't think that I got that and I do not want to miss that on a cam on in a blister shell so let's just do this one more time so we know we got it there we go oh yeah see same thing as the other one what do we got here we got a two and three quarters penetration, no blowback. There she is down there sitting underneath the daisy pointed. Okay, nice straight trajectory. It's like a laser line going in there. All right, now on to the daisy flat nose when I come back. All right, guys, we're going to do the daisy um, round nose, or flat nose, I'm sorry, 22 caliber. All right, let's make sure we're in focus here. There we go. Let's see how this baby does. That good. That moved, that moved the block for sure. Um, all right, let's find this bad boy. Oh boy, I think I might have to try to get a view from this side so that's not as... Oh yeah, I hit the, uh, I hit the 
gamo in there. Okay, so we're starting to get a little crowded in our nice little block here. But it left a nice moon channel. You can see that. It got all the penetration of it. Man, it's not really a fair test, is it? But I'm going to save this. Okay, we'll do more of these videos because this is fun. But uh, I guess I could flip the block again. I'm going to uh, do my last special thing, and that is to get out my... Uh, 177 again, and I'm gonna shoot one of these babies. Okay, it's a Blick pellet. It's got this powder in the top, and they pop when you shoot them. Okay, I glue a BB to the back for a little extra oomph. Let's see what it does to this ballistics gel. Let's see if it pops. Let's see if it bounces off and hits me here. I've got my protection. Here. Don't worry. Hopefully it'll go in and pop. Alright guys. Get ready. Wow, those things are loud, man. Those things are loud. Okay, well, I see exactly what happened. Right here I got about an inch of penetration on the BB. This bad boy, the plastic part went in and popped, and it just didn't do much there. I don't know if you can really see. It did leave a little burn. And it went in about as thick as it was. All right, let's go ahead and shoot from this side. We're going to try a backwards uh, 22 caliber penetrator now. Let's see how that works out for us when I come back. All right, you guys, this is a um, backwards 22 caliber gamo penetrator. I'm about one foot out of my beam in the R2. What's in that? So, let's see what happens. Massive energy dump. Oh yeah, that almost looks like a real bullet. It's down here. You can't see it down here on the bottom right there. That almost looks like a dang 22. It didn't go in far, did it? Went in, let's see here, it went in two inches. One in, one in, one and three quarters inches and bounced back to, uh, I don't know. You can see it in there. I left a vicious wound cavity though. I can't wait to dig these out and show you guys that. And of course I'm gonna remount this block. Can't tell if the BB's still in there or not. Yeah, the BB looks like it's still in there. That thing just opened up wide in there, man. Look at that. You can see the cavity around that sucker. That was a, that was a pretty devastating, pretty devastating blow right there. Energy dump still I doubt that any backwards pellet is going to ever be as effective as forward facing as they are Intended but this shows you this is a five inch block and even my 22 rifle couldn't Get anything to blow straight through it even a robin hooding a Daisy pellet into a gamma pellet All right guys, hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it and I look forward to digging these guys out and showing you on the inside, so see you later.